So yes, I am an Apple developer, and uh, yes, that means my hair is very goddamn messy right now. So I am an Apple developer, and that means that I get to uh, beta test new Oz 4.0 software. Today, this video is all about what you need to know about Oz 4.0. The keynote that uh, Steve Jobs gave was about a uh, about an hour long. It was painful to get through. Uh, I watched it on the Apple website, and I decided to take notes so I could feed the important parts to you guys. So there's around uh, 1,500 new APIs in OS 4.0 for programmers, and APIs are application programming interfaces. Developers are going to be able to um, use in-app SMS messaging. They'll have complete access to the photo library, into the calendar, and to uh, parts of the camera that they wouldn't have before. There's 100 new user features. Uh, you can now make playlists on the iPhone. There's 5 times Zoom. There's home screen wallpaper. Uh, there's places in the photo album, like if you have if you have a Mac, you know places, it'll actually geotag your photos. So when you go back and look at your photo album, it'll actually tell you where you took that photo. Uh, there's seven main things coming with uh, new iPhone OS, and they, uh, Apple's calling them tent poles. And the first tent pole is multitasking. So right now I'm going to demo the uh, multitasking for you. So uh, here we go on the iPhone, and I want to click on Canucks. So I'm going into the Canucks app right now. So I am in there. I am currently looking at the playoff schedule. And then I said, oh, I want to check my email. So you double click the home button. This is menu pops up. You uh, These are all the apps that are open right now. Oh, yeah, I was playing Tudor Joe. So you go back and you I check mail. I want to check my mail. Oh, we just got an email from Apple. So I go, I check the Apple. And then I, I want to go back to the uh, schedule. So I go back down here to my open applications and I click Vancouver and it takes me right back to Vancouver and it will uh, take me to that screen I was already looking at before. So the second tent pole is uh, folders and it is exactly what it sounds like. You can now make folders on your uh, iPhone. So here what I'll make one. So all you have to do is hold it down like you would when you're uh, going to rearrange it except now all you have to do is click it and then move it over and then drag it into that and now that both of those are games, so it automatically titles it games. Uh, I could rename it if I wanted to, but I don't really want to, so I'm just going to close that. And now I'm in the games folder, so let's go back out here. Go around. These are like that, and then I can click back on games, and it shows the folder. And this dramatically increases the amount of apps you can hold on your iPhone. It used to be like 180 you can hold, but now because of the folders, you can hold up to 2,000. So you can go app crazy if you really wanted. Tentpole number three is enhanced mail. You can now have more than one exchange uh, on your uh, exchange email address on your iPhone. I don't use exchange, so it doesn't really matter to me. But you can also have a universal inbox. So if you have more than one email address, all of your emails will go to one inbox instead of having to check all your inboxes. Kind of useful for me because I have three email addresses that I use regularly. So uh, now I don't have to keep going back and checking all of them. I can just have them all go into one inbox, so it makes it a lot easier for me. Tentpole number four is iBooks. It's just like uh, what's available for the iPad right now. You can read books on your iPhone. Not sure if you really want to do that because the screen's really small. Uh, sometimes it's irritating to play games on here. I can really imagine uh, playing books. So tentpole number five is going to be uh, Enterprise, and this is just a whole bunch of features for... Um, people in companies who use iPhones for business and apparently 80 percent of fortune 100 companies use iPhones now so um, the new enterprise is just gonna make everything safer you can now use Microsoft Exchange you can have more than one email address on your iPhone uh, data is gonna be encrypted better so it's gonna be a lot safer and uh, it's just gonna be a lot better for business and that is basically all this temple is probably the most exciting for me uh, is the tentpole number six which is Game Center let me show you right here. So uh, Game Center is that little app, if you can see. Gosh darn. All right. It's the one app on the bottom right here. Ooh, this is weird. And what this does is it is just like uh, Xbox Live. So all your games now, will uh, all the achievements that you get in games will go to this, and the achievements will be collected in here. And uh, you can, at the bottom there, you can see, you can have friends and uh, what's that last one? Requests, so you can play against people on play against people online. You can challenge people. You can uh, compare scores against other people, and it's actually going to be like a little gaming system. So the last tentpole feature on the iPhone OS 4 is uh, iAd, and iAd is just an advertising scheme by um, Apple, which allows 
users to put advertisements in their apps that are not irritating. So the OS 4.0 is only going to be available for the iPhone 3GS and for the third generation iPod Touch because um, the older well, the 3Gs and the second gen iTouches won't be able to, um, th they don't have the hardware to support the OS 4. But um, the only thing that we you guys aren't going to get is the uh, multitasking. You guys should get all the other stuff like uh, the Game Center. So you'll get six out of the seven tent poles, most likely. And um, so it's not, that's, that's pretty decent, you know. But um, that's all the time I have for today. I think I may have gone overboard. Um, oh, if you also notice, you can change the background. It's kind of a big deal. You guys probably saw that already, though. But um, 